It sucks being lied to. Out of fairness, maybe it isn't lying. It could just be stupidity or and or ignorance of people like these guys at Reventure Consulting or the real estate mindset that are profiting off of the doom and gloom scenario. If I only had a dollar each time I read or heard that the market was going to crash like it did back in 2008. Okay, so I don't know exactly how many dollars I'd have, but I know I'd have a lot of them. It's been very tiring trying to educate as many people as possible that real estate market is local and that market dynamic dynamics, well, they consist of supply and demand that you can't just have pricing corrections with just one adjustment of that demand side. Hi, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm one of the state's top agents. Let me know if you have any questions because I'm here to help. So how have you been lied to? Well, they've promised you price crashes and it doesn't look like they're going to happen. Check out this headline. 90% of all U.S. metros charted price jumps in Q4 despite big rate hikes. Boy, that's a little different than what we've been constantly and consistently told. Furthermore, check this out. 18% of the 186 metro areas logged double digit price increases compared to the previous years. 18%. Oh, it gets better. The median sales price for single family existing homes in the US climbed 4% to $378,700. Now real estate is local. I've always said that. Talking about the national real estate market is as dumb as talking about the national average for the temperature and whether today is going to be sunny or cloudy. So home prices, they went up nationally. What did they do in your area? I can tell you that they were up in our area. They did pull back from some of the crazy appreciation rates that we saw back in 2021. And by the way, that's a great thing for our market. How or why could this even happen? Because I know this must be painful for the people who sat on the sidelines this time last year saying that they were going to wait until prices went down. Since that time, mortgages rates doubled and home prices, well, they went up. So some quick math on that average home price. The mortgage would have been 1562 a year versus today it would be 2154. The increase in that payment is due to higher interest rates and the higher price on the house. If the person who sat on the sideline today wanted to buy a house with the same mortgage of yesteryear, then they'd be looking at a $280,000 house. Listening to people that don't understand simple economics and can only read the data but can't analyze it like this real estate mindset guy, well, that's going to hurt you. Supply and demand. Microeconomics 101. We saw a huge demand decrease from the interest rate increases, but supply also decreased as well. What happened is that people that would have naturally wanted to sell, well, they didn't need to sell. So therefore they decided to stay put and maybe put an addition on their house or do some other projects around that house. More supply side issues is that we have underbuilt houses in the United States for the last decade to the tune of three and a half to four million units. Then add in our natural population growth, plus the migrants coming over the border, which is about five million people alone in the last couple of years. Well, the supply side issue isn't going to go away and most likely is only going to get worse. In other words, the next time you read an article about a crash, see if they bring up the supply side of the story. If they don't, well then reader or viewer beware. Are you wondering why home buyers are in for a rude awakening? If so, then you might wanna check out this video at the end of the screen. Again, my name is Jeffrey Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a house in the next nine or 90 days, then I'm your guy. All of my contact information, it's in the description below, or you can visit me at youtuberealestateagent.com, fill out a couple of answers, and I'll reach out to you. So until next time,